going to do is we're going to make some bread. The first thing that we do is we need some flour. Now flour is the main ingredient in our bread. We are then going to add a whole teaspoon of sugar. And I'm going to add to this warm water. Okay, so I've got mine in my jug here. and I've got some measured out for you as well. And the very last thing that we need is really important. Okay, it's something called yeast. Do you guys know what yeast is? It's what makes the bread rise. Why does it help to make bread rise in the first place? Um, it makes the gas go in. It makes a gas, that's right. And what is it? Is it is a chemical thing? It's a living thing. It's a living thing, that's right. Is it a big living thing or is it a small living thing? Tiny. Small. It's really tiny. So yeast is a really tiny living thing. Here, I'm having a little look at some yeast down the microscope. What I've done is I've coloured them with some green so that we can see them nice and clearly. We need to use a microscope to be able to see them because yeast are a microorganism. Or microbe for short. They're really tiny living things. Like all living things, yeast need food, water and warmth to grow. In this animation, you can see that yeast grow by budding. Each mother cell grows and produces new yeast cells over and over again. We add it to our bread because when yeast grows, it produces a gas. That gas is called carbon dioxide. And that gas gets trapped in the flour, it gets trapped in the bread dough, and we're going to put it in to make our bread nice and fluffy and bubbly. What would happen if we didn't add yeast to the bread? It wouldn't, wouldn't rise. rise. It wouldn't rise. So, as I'm going to get you guys to make some bread, and I'm going to make some bread, I'm not going to bother putting yeast in. We'll use that as a little controller, a little tester for our experiment. And the bread that you make will make sure that we remember to put the yeast in it. So let's put in a teaspoon of yeast into our bowl as well. That's brilliant. The sugar that we're adding is the food for the yeast. There's a cup and a half of water here, pour it all in. The reason that we use warm water is because the yeast like it when it's a bit warm. Oh, that's nice actually. Thanks Laura. <laughs> pour it in. And I'm going to get you to get your, get your dough just like the boys and mix it in. Mix it all in. For me, just keep get your hands right in there. It's messy and it's gooey. Just get your hands in. How about we go and knead our bread over on the other surface? Would that be all right? Boys, do you want to come over and we'll get ready to start kneading as well? Right. You're still feeling very sticky? Yeah. And we want our dough to be quite elastic because when the yeast starts to produce the gas then the gas gets stuck in the little bubbly pockets and we want those pockets to be quite stretchy <laughs> oh well done keep going so once you've got them rolled into big sausage shapes for me i'll get you to put them inside the loaf tins all right set them into the tins and what I'll do is I'll go and put them somewhere nice and warm and let, let them double in size once they grow. So we'll put them with our tin that's got the one without the yeast in it. And we'll leave them for a little while to see if they double in size. Because when yeast grows, it produces a gas. That gas is called carbon dioxide. And that gas gets trapped. It gets trapped in the bread dough. So we've left these somewhere nice and warm for about an hour now. What's happened to them? The yeast have risen. They've got the yeast in. These ones have got the yeast in and this one doesn't? Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to bake them in the oven now and see what happens to them. Yeah, we can maybe eat them at the end. Mm. So put the last one in. There we go. We'll come back and see them in about 25 minutes and we should have some nice bread. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? Good. You alright? Yeah. Okay. Shall we have a little look and see how our bread's gotten on in the oven? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, right. I'll go and take it out. Okay, so will we have a little look to see which ones look the nicest inside? Yes. Yeah. How about, well, I just break them open. Would that be nice? Yeah. Yeah, instead of slicing it. All right. So. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, nice and crisp. Well, it nice. boiling. Oh, it's very hot. That looks delicious. But it's got this lovely, lovely fluffiness to it. Because when yeast grows, it produces a gas. 
that gas is called carbon dioxide, and that gas gets trapped, it gets trapped in the bread dough. And this one? Yes, yeah. It's very hot. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh. So much Ew. green. Doesn't That's... have much pockets. It doesn't have much pocket. Why yeah. is that? Because it doesn't have any yeast. It doesn't have any yeast in it. It doesn't smell that nice actually as well. Which is interesting. That one smells sort of yeasty. Would oh, any of you like a little bit of butter on it? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> oh my god, it's delicious. There we Thank go. you. <laughs> mm. yeah. This may be a bit much. It's nice and crisp. 